Hey there, welcome to Buell's Old Time Taffy House. Come on over here. Welcome, stranger. Listen, you by any chance get here on that private train what's parked out yonder? As a matter of fact, yes, I did. There's a rumor going around that Charlena Purcell's on board. Is that true? As a matter of fact, yes, it is. Hot dang, if that don't beat all. I've read every single book that gal's ever written. Best writer what ever lived. Did she get off the train, too? I don't think so. She's pretty busy. Charlena Purcell herself right here in Copper Gorge, breathing the same air as me. Hot dang! Well, welcome, little missy. Go on in and take a gander at what life was like during the heyday of Copper Gorge whilst you sample some of our delicious homemade saltwater taffy. So this is some kind of museum? Why, it's the best kind of museum, sister. It's free. You can gape and gawk and ooh and ah to your heart's content. At least you can till I close up. Where'd all this stuff come from? Been in the family for years. For centuries, in fact. See, Buell was my great-great-uncle. This building used to be his general store. During the glory days back in the 1880s, he commenced a pawnbrokering. So the miners Copper Gorge was crawling with back then could raise some cash to pay for grub and tools and such. But pretty soon, the mining boom went bust. And there was Uncle Buell, stuck with a whole store full of junk. Only it wasn't junk to him. Debris from lost lives and broken dreams, what he called it. Couldn't bring himself to get rid of it. So, he passed it on to his kin. My great-granddaddy's the one who come up with the idea of turning the place into a tourist attraction. And you make money by selling taffy? Tourists just love taffy. Especially when you dangle a free sample in front of them to get them hooked. Of course, it ain't really free. Some taffy on a stick will cost you two tokens. Which you can get by winning both those games over there. How much does it cost to play them? Well, ain't you the little penny pincher. Fact of the matter is, they're free. Unless you go messing with the artifacts I got in here. Do that and you'll be head first in the nearest snowdrift before you know what hit you. Do you by any chance have any of Jake Hurley's things in here? Jake who? Hurley. He was a miner. I think he may have left a lamp and a pickaxe with your great-great-uncle. Never heard of him. Of course, that don't mean his stuff's not here. Just means you're just gonna have to look around and see for yourself. But remember, Susie Q, don't touch. Pleasure talking to you. Ditto, little missy. This looks just like the insignia I saw on the train. I'll bet this was Jake's trunk. If this was his trunk, maybe the pickaxe and lamp that I need are inside. You ain't touching anything over there, are you, Missy? Oops. I'd better go ask permission before I mess with this. Check. I'm done with that. Still have to do that. Haven't done that yet. Check. Still have to do that. Check. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that yet. Haven't done that yet. Still have to do that.
rats. Still have to do that.
with that. Tappy on a stick. Hey, maybe I could use this to fish the crypt key out from under that grate. Looks like to get some Tappy on a stick, I'm going to need two different tokens. You still here? Do you know what's in that old trunk over there? Why? You ain't been fooling with it, have you? Oh no, of course not. No, I just thought it might contain the lamp and pickaxe that I asked you about before. Well, if it does, you can forget about them, cause it's locked. None of my kin have ever been able to figure out how to open it. Not even my cousin Alvin, and he went to junior college. Would it be okay if I tried to open it? Well, now, I certainly ain't gonna let you break it open if that's what you're getting at. Oh, no, I would never use force, believe me. But in order to try to get it open, I would have to, you know, touch it. Nope, sorry, not gonna happen, little missy. Unless. Unless? Tell you what, you get Charlene a Purcell to come in here so as I can shake her hand, and I'll let you fiddle with that trunk till the cows come home.
You know what? I've got a better idea. Now, what could be better than me coming face to face with the lady who writes the finest literature this here country's ever seen? Well, that's just it. If you were to just meet her, you'd have nothing to show for it. Afterwards, she'd go her way and you go yours, and that would be it. But if you were to, say, get her autograph, well, then you'd have something to hang on the wall and brag about. Okay. Make it so I can meet her and get her autograph. Oh, but the thing is, she's on a deadline, and if you take her away from her writing, she may fall behind. And if she falls behind, her publisher may pull the plug. And if her publisher pulls the plug, it could ruin her career. Do you really want to risk ruining Charlena Purcell's career? Good heavens, of course not. All right, you just get me Charlena's autograph, and you got a deal. Just make sure she uses my name. I want it real personal like. You bet. And your name is... Fatima, with an F. None of that weirdo PH stuff. Okay, Fatima, I'll be right back. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Haven't done that yet. Finish that. Can't check that off yet. Finish that. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that yet. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that yet. P.B. See you. Hmm, this indentation looks familiar. In the letter he wrote to his niece, Jake said she should go to Camille's grave and let Camille's goodness rub off on her. Rub as in rubbing, maybe? If I am supposed to make rubbings of these pillars, I'll need a pencil, which I already have, and some nice thin paper. Finish that. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that yet. I'm done with that. Finish that. Can't check that off yet. questions I met a huge fan of yours in town who'd really really like your autograph an autograph picture would be even better imagine that me having fans way out here in the boonies well I'm sure I have a picture around here somewhere but what I don't have is a pen usually I just ask my assistant for one I have a pencil here somewhere a pencil won't do dear it has to be ink see if you can borrow a pen from somebody
Hey, glad you stopped in. You gotta listen to this. What have you got? I put this digital recorder in the corner where Camille showed up in that picture and turned it on so it would just keep recording. Now when you play it back at normal volume, all you hear is background noise. But when you turn the volume way up and run the signal through a filter or two, Hear that? I hear something. It kind of sounds like a woman singing. Not just any woman. Camille. Camille. So be careful what you say in here. She's listening. I really, really need a pen. Could I borrow one from you? Sorry. Thanks for the chat. Take care. I can't stay mad at a fellow detective. What do you need? Do you by any chance have a pen I could borrow? Why, I'm surprised at you. Don't you know that every detective should carry a pen? Actually, I carry a pencil. Well, as it happens, I got lots of pens. I'll tell you what, if you can play that Leapin' Lizards game I found over there and do better than I did when I played it, which shouldn't be that hard seeing as how smart you are, I'll give you a pen. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Okay. The object of the game is to get rid of as many lizards as you can by jumping them with other lizards until you can't jump anymore. Last time I played, I wound up with just five lizards. If you can wind up with only four, the pen's yours. You lost. Guess you're not so smart after all. Try again? Well, sure. Lost again. One more time? Well, sure. Lost again. One more time? Well, sure. You lost again. One more time? Well, sure.
I did it! I won! Talk about luck. Here's your pen. What else can I do for you? Hope I didn't take up too much of your time. Not a problem. Finish that. Finish that. Have you found a pen so I can autograph that picture? I got it from Tino. You can keep it. If you could have it say, To Fatima, that'd be great. There you go. Anything else? Well, I'll let you go. All right, then. Hey, Nancy. There you are. We've been looking for you. Yeah, you won't believe the lucky break we caught. Lucky break? Hey, that was the result of good old-fashioned detective work. It was the result of your insisting we stop for a cheeseburger. Guys, what's going on? Well, it turns out that a grandchild of Jake's engineer still lives around here. What's more, he hangs out at the local diner, comes in every day. Apparently, he's pretty ancient. Ah, and you found that out when you stopped there so Joe could get a hamburger. Cheeseburger. The thing is, the owner of the diner wouldn't agree to point the guy out unless one of us fills in for a short order cook. He's got to go home and wait for the cable guy or something. And since Joe here barely knows how to boil water, guess who got the job? Way to go, Frank. Oh, and get this. Balducci convinced Lori that Jake's mine is somewhere right here in Copper Gorge, so he, Lori, and John Gray are hiking up the mountain out there even as we speak. Like that bumblebrain's gonna find anything. Sounds like now might be a good time to do some serious poking around on the train. Good thought. Hey, I better get going. Wish me luck. I'll go with you. You can make me a cheeseburger. Got that autograph? Got something better. An autographed picture. Hot dang! She spelled my name right and everything. Go ahead, little missy. Have a go at that trunk. Whatever's inside it's all yours. Finish that. Finish that. Can't check that off yet. Still have to do that. Finish that. There we go. Hmm, this indentation looks familiar. I need to match that shape. Well, here's Jake's lamp. Another slug. Could come in handy. But where's his pickaxe? Welcome back! Have you by any chance ever come across a pickaxe that had the initials J.H. carved into it? Why? Because it used to belong to Jake Hurley, and I really, really need it. I thought it would be in that old trunk, but it wasn't. You got that trunk open? Wait till I tell Cousin Alvin. He thinks he's so smart. As for that pickaxe, so happens I got it upstairs in my kitchen. Use it to open the coconuts Aunt Lucy sends me every year from Hawaii. Do you think I could have it? Why, no, you can't have it. How would I open them coconuts? But your great-great-uncle, do you really think Buell would approve of you using something that belonged to some poor miner to open coconuts? 
Ah, okay. I'll let you have the pickaxe. After you do something for me. Sure. I got a bunch of taffy over there what needs sorting. Just follow the directions that are posted by the machine. Them belts get moving pretty fast, so you gotta keep your wits about you. While you're doing that, I'll fetch that pickaxe. You got a deal. Finish that. Finish that. Finish that. Check. Still have to do that. Haven't done that yet. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Finish that. Still have to do that. Wax paper for the taffy. Would you mind if I took a piece of wax paper? Yes, I could let you have a piece. Maybe making a rubbing would help. Wisdom, charity, purity, eternity. I'm done with that. Finish that. Finish that. Still have to do that. Something fits in here. P B C U. More questions? You didn't go on Tino's expedition to Jake's mine? Please. The man barely knows where his head is. If he's the one who finds that mine, I'll eat my laptop. I'll touch bases with you later. My publisher thanks you.